Last week, we watched the video Hanging Out with Bats, and we filled in a who and what chart, and then we came up with a main idea about that video about bats. Well, our who for this one stayed the same. It was bats over and over. Even though they talked about different types of bats, they were still all bats. So, I wanted to share this with you. We can have the who being all the same. In this case, the who is a whale the whole time. They talked about different kinds, blue whales, killer whales, but it was always whales. Sometimes your who is going to be different, such as on this example, the who was tigers, and then it was cheetahs, then it was boa constrictors, and scorpions, and wolves. So if you have something like this, a video, an article that you're reading that the who is different, you then have to figure out your who and how those connect together. So in this case, it's animals because all of our who's happen to be animals. So today the article we're going to be reading has different who's in it. Okay, we're going to be doing the same work, doing a who and what chart for the article what's for dinner after dark. Okay, so I'm going to work through the first section on here to show you guys how to do that. So we have what's for dinner after dark. Lots of animals are awake at night. They are nocturnal. These animals use amazing senses to find food in the dark. Some animals hunt at night to avoid competing with daytime hunters. Some animals use the cover of darkness to sneak up on their prey. So I notice here my first section is raccoons. And I notice over here the section is bats. So that already gives me a clue that I'm going to have at least two different who's, maybe even more. So we have raccoons. One night last fall, a raccoon stole one of my bird feeders. Its flexible fingers unhooked the feeder and carried it across my yard. Raccoons' front paws have more nerves than, anim than most animals' paws. The nerves make their fingers sensitive. They can feel crayfish hiding in the muck or acorns tucked under leaves. Raccoons often use touch instead of sight to hunt. They don't need daylight to find food. Okay, so now and put this to the side. So I'm going to fill in my who and what chart for just that first section I read. So it was about raccoons, so raccoons are my who. Okay, and some things that it told me about raccoons are that their front paws have a lot of nerves their fingers are sensitive and that they use touch instead of sight to hunt instead of sight to hunt okay so now I filled in for my first chart or for my first section my who was raccoons and these were some of the things that it told me about raccoons so now I can move on to my next section bats hey did you see that bat my son asks my son and I love to sit in our backyard and watch bats swoop out after sunset. They don't compete with birds for day flying insects, such as butterflies. Instead, bats catch night flying insects, such as moths. Bats find their prey through echolocation. This means they send out high pitched sounds like screams that people can't hear. Bat screams bounce off bugs 
When bats hear the echoes, they know where to find dinner. Bats can hunt in complete darkness. Okay, so our who has changed. Our subtitle told us we were going to read about bats, and this whole section was about bats. So under our who, we're going to add another who. So go ahead and add bats to your chart, and I want you to then jot down some of the what did you learn about bats from this section. Now the second page of this article talks about two different animals. We have possums and owls. So on your own today, you're going to go ahead and read the section about possums, and you're going to read the section about owls. You're going to continue to fill in your who and what chart for those two sections. And then at the very end, after you've read the whole article, filled in your who and what for all four animals, you are going to come up with a main idea for the article, what's for dinner after dark.